did you hear the guy abusing you before uh, behind us? No, I didn't actually. Yeah, who was saying that his son's in the army and oh, they've been waiting for ages and he's really looking forward to going to war and oh, the people like us ruin it. What did you think of that statement? Oh, well, it's misinformed really. It, you know, people don't know the background of the whole issues. You know, and the issues go back. They actually go back to the 1800s. In fact, they go back to colonisation of France colonising Algeria, you know, England, Egypt, and and these Middle Eastern countries were brought into the First World War. I mean, we were fighting in Iraq, the Allies, and then you see with with the United States and its sort of leading an invasion into Iraq in 2003. And then the United States bombing Afghanistan after 9-11, trying to find Osama bin Laden. It's, it's sort of like stirring up a hornet's nest. You know, nobody ever wins going in there. How do you shift the hearts and minds of that angry man who just came behind us talking about his son being in the army? What would you have said to him if, if you'd heard what he said? I would have said to him, just look back in history and do an analysis. Because some people won't change their mind for what little they know. They won't change their minds. And sometimes they have deep-set reasons for wanting to sort of ally themselves with, say, the United States and so forth. So whatever they do, they'll go along with it. And what about the kids that are actually in the army and and that's what they believe in and they think they're serving their country, like that boy's son? Well, I I just feel sorry for them. (laughs) You know, I mean, he he probably does think he's, you know, he's patriotic, thinks he's doing a good thing. I mean, at first instance, ISIS seems such a terrible organisation, doesn't it, that you want to go in there and stop them, don't you? It's the first reaction, isn't it? But there are other aspects to it too. Um, I, I don't want to justify ISIS, but there are places they've gone into where, under whatever previous regime those were, like Saddam and Iraq, where if you weren't a Sunni, you were discriminated against and you didn't get any health systems or education or whatever. And ISIS have actually gone into those places and set up things like education and health centres, believe it or not, and, and, the, and the kids there, they all want to join ISIS. It's a can of worms. It certainly is. Yeah. Thank you very much. What was your name again? Oh, Peter Archer. Peter. I'm a member of Pax Christi um, Aotearoa. It started off as a Catholic peace movement, mm-hmm. but there's other people in it. There's probably 50 countries that have Pax Christi groups, so I'm part of that. Oh well, nice effort yeah. on the protest. Yeah, thanks very much for coming. Thank you.